Deceit. Hey guys, Dan from World Mr. Grey, Dan Dalf the Grey, and I've been asked for a long time now, and I always said, yes, I will get around to it, of what is a mask and how to make a mask. Apologies for the extreme sunlight coming through. I can't do nothing about that, unfortunately. But yeah, I've been asked quite uh, countless times how to make a mask and what is a mask. Because I always say in, in, in all these videos you watch me doing the debunking videos or the breakdown analysis videos, I'll say, that's a mask. There's a mask there. And I'll try and point it out as best I can, but I've never really gone into that much detail. If you look around YouTube, you'll see people way more advanced stuff than I do here, but this is the most basic type of mask you can do in like Adobe Premiere, DaVinci Resolve, Sony Vegas, other video editing software out there. Every, every single video editing software available, whether it's paid or free, can do a mask. Even the base, you know, even the most advanced like 3D tracking masks. We're, we're not going to get into the 3D tracking. That'll be for a future video, but you can do 3D tracking masks. Uh, but this is just going to be a basic, as you just saw over there, a fixed camera position. And the reason I chose that is because 99% of the bo bollocks videos you see on YouTube have all done that exact same technique. Really haunted. Goes to Carl Melmain. Michael D. McGee, he doesn't do it anymore, but he used to do them that way. Mellow Bird, classic. And this is why... When, when I always say there's a mask, that's bollocks. And then people come to say, well, how do you know? Well, because I, I can see the techniques being used. I can see the mistakes, which I, which we'll go through in here, hopefully, as well. Hopefully, I've made a few mistakes. I'm sure I have. <laughs> but, um, but, yeah, this is why when you watch, if it's a fixed camera on YouTube showing ghostly things happening, you should, this is why you should always assume, always assume it's masking techniques, always, before you even go down the line of the, it could be a ghost. <laughs> this is what you always got to do. But so we're going to go through it now, what I did, step by step. And hopefully I've explained it enough. Like I said, this is the most basic of masking. There are more advanced te techniques, which we'll get to in a future video. But for now, we'll just go to the basics. So this is, this is me filming the clean plates. And basically with the clean plate, you want to get, you want to film the area you want to make a ghosty video. Yeah, so you, when you wanna when you wanna make a ghostly video like these top YouTubers always do, and you want it like in say there's a ghost in my kitchen or there's a ghost in my bedroom and I this I left this camera film and this is what I caught, All right? So you film the clean plates so you basically you don't have anything happening in the in the background or anything whatsoever. Film about I don't know two minutes, however long you want the video for. It's up to you. Film about two minutes of clean plate. Clean plate is basically you want an entire area filmed with nothing happening so you can pick parts out of it and pick and choose what you want to include, what you want to take out to the video, stuff like that. So once you've done that, you want to film all the ghostly happenings. So, <laughs> so this is me scurrying about like bloody Gollum from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> obviously, I'm I, obviously I had planned in advance where I'm going to add the mask. So this is why I'm ducking down and doing all kinds of things. And yes, you will see my reflection in that microwave, but that hopefully will, would have gone with the mask. So this is me scurrying about, opening the cupboards, shaking the shelving, trying my best to keep my fingers out of where I know I'm going to put the mask, because I filmed this part before I did the mask. So I knew I knew ahead of time what I was going to do. So now this is me putting, drawing the mask in. Basically, when you put a mask in using uh, video editing software, like I said, DaVinci, all video editing software has a masking uh, tool. It's usually called a mask or in other places called a garbage mat and other various things. But it's usually a mask. mask. And it's basically you draw a shape. You, draw, you can either draw a square, you can either draw a circle, or you can draw with a pen tool exactly any shape you want to. And with some feathering effects and stuff like that, you can make it look pretty good. So this is me now drawing the actual... Um, this is sped up for time, but this is me drawing the actual mask. Like I said, I knew where I was going to put the mask before I filmed it. But I was trying. But when you draw the mask, you want to try your best to keep it with straight lines. Because if you do, if you could do like curved lines, you can do curved lines. But it's harder then to sort of hide the mask. But if you do, if you keep within straight lines of the background uh, footage, you, you it's easier to hide it in the straight lines. If you know what I mean. So this, this is why, if you can see me drawing this now, I'm drawing this in as many straight lines as I can find the background footage. So then, once you do that, it basically, it only include the mask 
once you've drawn that, the mask only includes what inside of that line you've drawn. So then the, the black area you can see then, that's basically, that's invisible. That's, um, it's 100% opacity basically. And opacity means see-through. <laughs> it's for the, for the layman term. I, 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 sorry, I apologize if I'm patronizing, I don't mean to be. But I'm just trying to explain as basic as I, as I can. Sorry, 0%. Opacity, not 100%, but you get the idea. So you've got your mask. So then you overlay that footage onto your clean plate. So then once you do that, and then you check where you wait, where you want that footage to start. You, so you've got your mask in footage. You overlay it onto your clean plate footage, and you figure out where you want it to start. Obviously, you want it to start when the cupboards start opening and stuff starts happening. But you also want to add um, like a like a transition because if you don't add a transition which i think i forgot to in one of the, in part one part of this you might see like a not a quick cut but you'll see a slight slight uh, light change just because i forgot to add it but you you should add a cross dissolve uh, transition so it'll be a smooth smooth um cut into your effect so to speak so this is me now just adjusting the uh, mask because i realized that my reflection was shown in the microwave but obviously once that over is overlaid as you can see you can't see me opening those cupboards wow <laughs> right so, so there's that part now this next part where i wanted the shelving to move <laughs> i had a problem because a ghostly hand pop into view there it is <laughs> Obviously, that's me moving the shelf in, but I've already put the mask in. That's why my hand is going through the mask. Outside of the mask, I should say. But obviously, I didn't want my hand in that. So then, basically, I had to copy the footage again. So th this is me once again um, adding a simple square mask this time. I didn't draw anything. It was just a square mask. And again, you just move the points to where you want to capture the, the part of the, the footage you want to capture. And again, you just overlay it then on top of your footage that you want to delete out, basically. So there, I just say overlaid it again on top of the original footage I wanted to cut my hand out. And I slowed it down. As you can see, I slowed it down the speed because the footage I filmed was a bit short. So I slowed it down to about 80%. So then, as you can see, the thing is moving, but you can't see my hand. So just to reiterate the basic... Um, Things I'll break it down now. The masks. So the, you've got the top shot, which, as you can see there, that's where I drew my mask. If I move it around, look, you can probably see me there actually. Yeah, there I am. <laughs> so, see this? You can move the dots around however you want. I mean, you can you can also delete that. If I cut that out, you can see the footage I originally filmed with me in shot, going around doing all my stuff. But if I just if I just quickly do, I don't know, uh, if I just draw it again, if I make that bigger, if I draw it again, if I click on the pen tool there, on, on the left under opacity, and this, I'll show you exactly what I did. So basically I kept to the lines as straight as I could. Obviously I don't want to go up there. I want, I want to, I want to delete the bottom area basically. So, so I kept to the lines as much as I could there, there. And there, and there. This is just me rushing it now. But obviously I'm keeping to the lines as best I can. But there, you don't have to. To the edge of the screen. Then up there, and up there. And boom, I'm gone. <laughs> and that's it. That is as basic as you can get for when you include a mask. And this is why whenever I can see, the, I can see always see the mistakes of the masks. There's mistakes there. If you watch the original, uh, at the beginning of this video, if you watch that video, if you know what you're looking for, you'll spot various mistakes. You'll, you might see like a, a tiny little fingertip going on one of those cupboards. Um, you might see a slight reflection in something, I can't remember. But yeah, and you, as also as, obviously as well, I was making sounds the entire time. So I kept those sounds in and just pretended it was sounds off camera. And I added a few of my own EVPs, demon balls and bollocks. <laughs> just to get just to give it that little bit more, you know, because that's what they do. But this is why I always say you should whenever you're watching these videos on YouTube, these top five ghost videos, or you know, I have a ghost in my house and this is what happened, you should always, 
always assume there is masking trickery involved. If not masks, at least strings being put, pulled off camera or other various techniques. There's at least a hundred things you should tick off on your list to do with editing and trickery before you even think it could be a ghost. And that's, that's that basically. So yeah, that was uh, basic masking. 101. <laughs> And like I said, there are more advanced techniques out there and way uh, easier ways to do it, but which we'll probably get to in a future video. But at its most basic, any single video software, editing software, can do that exact same thing with a fixed camera position. So if you're seeing a ghost video on YouTube with a fixed camera position, don't immediately say, it's a ghost. You should think, that's a mask. But where can I see the mask? That's what I always do. This is why this is why I do those breakdown analysis videos. I go into those fixed camera ones knowing there's trickery involved. But if I can't prove it, I can't prove it. But that's why I always look, right? If if that if something moves there, I'm looking around the edges of that object which has moved. I'm looking to the right of it, I'm looking to the left of it, I'm looking all around that object to see various um, clues where the mask is. That's what that's what happens. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. That was my basic masking tutorial. I hope it's a tutorial or just exp explanation. I don't know. And I hope you understand what I was talking about because um, I get asked a lot, what's a mask? I don't get it. You're not explaining right. <laughs> so, <laughs> so hopefully you've got that though. And um, yeah. But anyway, leave a like if you like this video. Leave a sub if you're new to my channel. I do these quite often. And that's it. I'll be back again soon with something. I don't know when and I don't know how. But thanks for watching. Bye for now. Hopefully with a beard next time.